Opening this weekend, the Alley Art Festival is making its return to Vista, celebrating 10 years of art, music, and community. So the event will showcase the incredible talent and creativity of some established and emerging artists. Yeah, the festival is a collaboration between the Vista Art Foundation, Back Fence Society, and Elevated 760. And here to talk more about it is Sarah Spinks. Sarah, thank you so much for being here. Tell us about this incredible art festival. You're so excited. We are so excited. This is our 10 year anniversary, so we wanna let everybody know to come and enjoy our free Downtown Vista Arts Festival. We have been putting this on for 10 years and we're just so excited to bring it back again this year. COVID kinda. Yeah, <laughs> for everybody. <laughs> but we are back and we're gonna have our Sharpie car back this year. So come and draw on our car. Uh, we have a scavenger hunt that's going to be taking place during the festival. So all participants who complete the scavenger hunt will get a nice $25 gift uh, value prize from Uli. They just became our sponsor for the event. So we're very grateful for their donation to the festival. We're also going to have live music, uh, reggae, hip hop, indie rock. Uh, we will have graffiti artists doing uh, graffiti throughout the day and there will be canvases that will be raffled off so you can come participate in the raffle. Yeah. Who are some of the artists that you're showcasing for so, this year? We also have an artist market. 50 local artists are going to be having vendor booths set up and showcasing their work. So kind of too many names to list. <laughs> but Amber Ineguez, it, she goes by Bluto on Instagram. She is curating all the graffiti art at the festival. So they set up temporary walls and they'll just be painting all day for everybody to come in and enjoy. And you're gonna have music as well, right? You're gonna have some live music. Who's gonna be there? We're gonna have live music. We have San Volta, we have Soul Remedy, they're a reggae band, and we have the Neighborhood Kids who do hip hop. It's a couple duo that, um, have been making music and they're actually from Vista now living in San Diego So we're excited to welcome them back to downtown Vista for our 10th anniversary I guess I guess this goes back to like why you actually created it. Um, how are the artists chosen and? Um, really why did you create it? So the event was created um, It was a collaborative creation. There was a woman named Maureen Barrick. She's no longer with us sadly, but this was her baby that we all together collaborated to make happen. And the idea behind it was to create an inclusive art event that welcomes both established and emerging artists. We have some people who have been doing artwork for 30, 40 years. Some people who this will be their first event. So it's really a celebration of any level of art and just to connect with the community around creativity. And if you got kids, bring them. And if you have kids, bring them. I have the origami guy. He's gonna be doing origami art all day. I have artist Janice Selby Jones. She goes by Shore Sweep on Instagram. She, she cleans up trash on the beach and separates, organizes it all by color and shape. And she'll be doing assemblage art all day. We have a button maker, we have a slime bar, there will be kid activities. So we love Something for kids. everybody. Something for everybody. Um, how many people attend usually? I mean, I'm sure you've seen it grow throughout the years. We've seen it grow throughout the years. Uh, I would say average attendance around 1,500, 2,000 people. So we're going to be right there on South Citrus in downtown Vista, kind of by the Vista Magnet Middle School flagpole. And that's where our main stage will be. And what time are you guys going to be uh, open and closed and what days? So give us all the details. <laughs> yeah. So this Saturday from 4 to 9 p.m. The scavenger hunt, though, you must complete that by 8 p.m. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it's in downtown Vista downtown on South Vista. Citrus Avenue. Um, and for anyone who wants to go, it's free, right? Free. Totally free. So if you want to check out all that art and emerging artists and, and established artists, mm -hmm. we have information on this year's Alley Art Festival on our website, fox5sandiego.com. Just click on the scene on Fox 5 tab. Sarah, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Have thank fun you this so weekend. much. Yes, have oh, a great time. I know you will. <laughs> thank you. All, all right. right. Thank